Hey everyone, and this is How to Make a Butterfly Farm. I know what you're thinking, Raven must be really losing it. Or this fuck is really out of ideas. Well, whatever the case may be, I'm going to show you two ways you could do this. So the first thing you want to do is get out there with your bug net and catch a decent amount of butterflies. This doesn't require too many, and if you didn't know, which I'm sure many people watching this will know, but in case there's that one person that doesn't, captured butterflies can be planted as flowers. And flowers require no maintenance, and what they do is spawn more butterflies. So the goal here is to plant the flowers near the magma, which is located near the dragonfly. So this is DST only. So place the flowers as close as you can to the magma without them starting to smolder. And if they do start to smolder, quickly extinguish it and then pick up the flower. So that way it doesn't re really catch on fire. Remember, if it catches on fire, chances are it's gonna catch the whole ring of flowers on fire. And that won't be good. So the way this works is, butterflies will spawn from the flowers, they'll fly back and forth to each flower, and then as they do, they take damage, and then they die. But the flowers that are the closest to the magma pit, most of the time when the butterfly spawns, he instantly dies. And that's pretty much what you're going for. For this to work, it doesn't have to be perfect. Chances are, the butterflies are going to die anyway, so... Hey, it's just a matter of when. If it's closest, they're going to die quicker. If not, they'll die a few seconds later. No big deal! So let's jump on to the other way to do this. So if you're one of those people that do the beefalo annihilation, then hey, just make sure you keep one alive. One of those cute little babies. Make sure not to kill him, because he can become one of your servants, unless you, you decide to kill him at some point. So once you're done enslaving a beefalo, you could really do this any way you want. Like for me, I just built a square, planted some flowers in it, put my beefalo in it, and called it a day. I could even maybe fit two beefaloes in here for double the pleasure. But one is just fine. Just remember that the beef flow one only works in spring. So once spring is over, this way will not work. And the only thing you need for this is pretty much a lightning rod. So this one maybe isn't as good as the magma way, but it's definitely safer. All you need is a beef flow hat when you go inside. The only thing I noticed is sometimes if there's too many butterflies flying around, the beef flow, he 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 don't think he don't think no good. So it takes a while to hit him sometimes. So he'll run around try and hit him, and they just be kiting him. They're like, look at me, he he duped, but uh, he eventually gets them. So that's maybe why having two in there would work a little better. If you happen to try this for fun or whatever then let me know if you decide to use two or not. And I know in the beginning I said there was two ways, but I lied. I just came up with a third way. So when I was in the desert just hanging out, keeping it fresh, I noticed hounds, they attack them, them butterflies, they don't like them. So then I messed around and I planted some flowers around the hound mound. It's the least efficient way out of the three, but hey, if you're there putting them around the magma, you might as well just put them around the hound mound as well. I just killed the hounds and then planted them, and then I waited for the hounds to spawn, and once they do, they are just killed the butterflies for you. So that's another way. Hey, if your base is in the desert, you might as well do these. It's good for butter. It's good to get that the butterfly wings if you want to use it for recipes or just for the health. Let me know if you've ever done any of these methods before. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and... I'll see you guys next time.